Hey everyone, Stephen here from Orconfig back with you for another tutorial video. Today I'm going to run through snippets on Orconfig Professional V7 and I'm going to take you through some of the changes from between version 6 and version 7, some of the new features we've introduced around snippets um, and how to use those features uh, across V7. Okay, so the first thing to cover off when we're talking about snippets is what exactly is a snippet? So while I get logged in here, let me explain it briefly. So we know on network configuration managers, we can download configurations, but we also want to send configurations. And a snippet is, is our configuration that we want to send to a device to configure it uh, in any number of different ways. Now, using a protocol like Telnet and SSH, which are humanly interactive protocols, if you want, in other words, it demands a human usually demands a human at the other side we have to script it like a human okay so when we see our scripts in a moment we'll see that they will take the cisco ios example it will start with a conf t and then we'll go to the next level of configuration etc cetera, etc cetera, all the way out to a finish with a write mem at the end so just like you would if you were interacting with the device and actually creating the snippets the same as it was in v5 and v6 um, just head over to your configurations menu click on snippets uh, you can see we have a couple of pre-configured in here but click on new snippet and go ahead and fill in the details um, like I said uh, when you're creating the snippet create it as if you were entering it yourself onto the device manually with whatever um, commands you need to get to configuration mode or and, and exiting and writing in, uh, to memory and that kind of stuff okay one of the very cool new features that we were asked to introduce for snippets was role-based control so role-based access control is a brand new fully robust role-based access control feature in v7 and we, i'll do another video on role-based access control but we look at some of it briefly today and so you'll notice a couple of new things here you'll notice the roles column and so every snippet that's created um has a default role of admin and so that's to protect the integrity of the snippet to make sure at least that and admin is a system role again look at the roles role based access control video for more details but every every snippet will be hard coded to at least the admin role and so when you're creating a snippet then you can define which roles uh, can view and implement the snippet um, here in the assigned role section or if you click the three dots here you can assign roles from a little modal that pops up and these these roles so admin user and guest or system defined help desk was a new one that i created for this demo so any roles you create separately are populated in here okay so what i might do now is just quickly demo creating a very brief snippet and then log in as a new user and see if we can see that snippet if the if the snippet is assigned not assigned to that role let's say now we saw the help desk role uh right here and i'm just going to show you this in roles for a second so the help desk role is here that was a custom defined role and we can see mike um our user account mike has been assigned to this role if i look at users we'll see mike here has the help desk role okay so what we're going to do is we'll create a snippet and we won't assign the help desk role to the snippet and assuming all is well we'll log in with mike and actually mike won't see any snippets um in fact what we might do is actually assign one let's give mike this one uh, it's an SN snmp server configuration on a cisco ios device so fairly benign change for a help desk user to make so we'll assign admin as i said is always defaulted you can't uh, remove the admin account so now at least if we create another snippet don't assign it to mike when mike logs in he should see at least this snippet okay so let's just create a test snippet again all of this is arbitrary right for the purposes of the demonstration and um, we're not going to assign. let's assign guest and user but not help desk okay so if we log out log in as mike with his ultra secure password and if we go to configurations and snippets and there we have it okay 
Now, this is really important because not only can Mike only see the snippets that are assigned to his role, if I attempt to push a snippet manually to a device, again, this is a new feature in V7, where if I go into any device, I have a new button here called Send Snippet, and I'm allowed to choose the snippet that I can send. And we can see Mike only has the snippet that's assigned to him. So he can't send any other snippets. This is a really useful um, for use cases where, and exactly in this example, where you might have help desk staff or technicians that you just want to make kind of lower end benign changes on the network and then keep those kind of higher end, I don't know, we'd say BGP or OSPF or firewall rule changes or whatever, those kind of automations and snippets um, to kind of, you know, engineer architect level type staff. So for this device, we are on router run. Let's let's push it out. Let's push the snippet to the device and see what happens. Now, um, you'll see here when I select the snippet, it'll actually show it to us so we can see what we're pushing for a kind of a final, final verification. So if I send this snippet, uh, let's wait one second, and then I'm going to refresh the latest downloads, and we'll see the snippet outputs as a config, OK? Now, version control does not apply to snippets, but we can actually view the results of the snippet right here. So we can see we comp into the device, we sent the SNMP server host command, and we exited and we did a write mem. Okay, so that's a good validation that the snippet actually um, was sent to the device and the device accepted the, the commands. Okay. And so just a couple of more things to look at. I'm going to log out as Mike and log back in as admin just for a minute. And so if I go back to snippets, we have in V7 a brand new feature as well where we can introduce uh, variables or parameters, let's call them parameters, um, to snippets. So again, take that use case where we want Mike, our help desk te technician to set to make access port changes on switches, right? So. What we would like to do is have the same block of code, but perhaps parameterized. And then when Mike attempts, attempts maybe he gets a ticket and he, he attempts to send the config to a particular switch, then we allow Mike to make some adjustments to the code on a parameterized basis. So let's look at it. So I was going to create a new snippet. Let's call it configure access port. Let's give it a description. Uh, we we'll call it configure access port on LAN switches. And a little block here in my notepad, so I'm just going to paste it in. So conf t interface, and now these are our parameters, okay? So I'm going to zoom in here in our browser so we know what we're looking at. So the parameters are held within curly braces. Now, just hold on to that thought for a minute. I should probably put a slash in here, actually. Um, uh, the parameters are held in curly braces, so... Uh, they will turn into parameters uh, when we attempt to push it out manually, okay? So let's watch this. So we don't need to assign any roles because we're not going to log back in as Mike for this example. So let's just save it. All right, perfect. So we've got type, interface ID, and description. And what we're going to do, uh, yeah, you should probably have access port VLAN over here and different things, but, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a basic uh, demonstration, right? So we're going to head to devices. We're going to go to router one. We're going to click send snippet and we're going to select that snippet and what's happened what you'll notice different from the previous time is now we've got three input boxes okay and as i input to these boxes watch the code down below right so we're going to go interface g0 slash let's say i don't know 24 and our description is a new switch port description you know whatever um and at this point, it's a it's ephemeral, right? So which means, which means I'll send this snippet to the device the exact way it's presented here, and the next time I go to use this snippet, I have to input um, the parameters again. So that's kind of useful because then you can keep the same code blocks for certain devices um, for text to log in and, and send that code and configure the the network in a in a quite a structured and, and organized way. So if I send this now. I'm sending it to a CSR 1000, right? So it's going to fail, right? But let's do it anyway, just to see it. So again, send a snippet sent to the queue for um, device 1001 successfully. If I refresh here, and now we have our configure access port 
uh, output and if I view it yeah look I mean I knew it was going to fail right but that's not the point the point is is that you can see the actual code block that gets sent to the device uh, G04 um, the, the parameterized description was sent over and we did our write mem at the end okay All right, I hope most of that made sense, or all of it. Uh, it's pretty simple, but the new features around role-based access control and parameterization are pretty cool. And uh, we're start already starting to see some use and use cases of those um, with our customers. Um, just one more quick thing to go through. So, you know, we looked at the example of sending snippets to individual devices, which is pretty easy to do. And you can do this from the command line as well if you wanted to automate it or, you know, put any, any scripting from the or config command line, you can do that. You, you can review the docs on how to do that. Um, but, you know, the question often comes up, how do I do it in bulk? So the easiest, best way to do it in or config in bulk is to create a scheduled task and, and set that task to basically never run or run once a year and then push it manually or push it at your specific time. Um, the use cases we often see is, is customers want to create it and push it manually themselves. So let's create, so you have the option of sending snippets to a device or many devices, a category or many categories, a tag or many tags, right? Let's just pick tag for fun. Uh, snippets and test, okay. Copy that over. And then we can select one or many tags. We'll send it to dev tag one and two. And then we select our snippet, configure. Let's just use the one um, that we created a moment ago. And uh, we leave our reports as default. So again, if you're going to send it manually, I'm going to send it you know, tomorrow morning at nine o'clock when I get into the office. Just set the schedule to once a year, all right? And then go ahead and save the task. You can even pause this task. This is another new feature in V7. We'll do another video on some of those other little features. You can even pause this task. So it will, you're guaranteed it will never run. Even, you know, if we're doing this on the 28th of December and we're afraid it might run on, you know, the 1st of January in the morning, right? Uh, you can pause it. And so then you can start that task. And when you click start, it goes into the queue. So let's say you had 200 devices in here and you were configuring it to do a firmware download using copy TFTP or something like that, right? That will go and execute that command on every single device with that with those tags. So that's the easiest, most straightforward way to execute a snippet in bulk across your network. All right, so in conclusion, um, snippets are a very powerful feature, allowing you to automate and configure your network uh, in very discrete one-off type ways or, or in bulk. And with the role-based access control feature and the parameterization, now you can delegate out the um, implementation of snippets and, and standard code blocks on your network to to technicians or help desk staff or you know whomever it is right to try and offload some of that work from engineers and architects uh, keep an eye on the video series keep an eye on the docs because there's a couple of more things on the roadmap coming around snippets and um, so what you're seeing here today may change subtly and slightly over the coming months thanks a lot folks talk to you soon